Lumi here. Um, today I'm going to show you a technique that I use all the time. And I mean all the time because constantly I'm trying to combine different photos and make the tones and the colors match. And sometimes it's really tough, but um, you know what? It doesn't always have to be. Let me show you something. And by the way, um, I know the title of this video is How to Turn Anything Any Color, but honestly, like, this is the way to do it, but I'm just op trying to open a door for you because this is, some people make entire careers out of this, doing color grading and, um, like, for video and movies and stuff, and so this is a huge industry, and I'm, I just want to introduce you very simply to it. So as you can see, we have a black orb. I just downloaded a Metaball pack. I believe this was from Rule by Art. I love that guy, by the way. Check him out. And so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how using only curves, how to turn this orb white. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to create a curves adjustment layer. And then I'm going to make it a clipping mask. So what's happening right now is that um, basically the curves is only affecting the orb behind it or that that it's on top of so and i promise you this is so simple i'm just going to take this bottom which re represents the shadow i'm going to drag it up as you can see it changes that's because I'm getting rid of all the black and I'm replacing it with gray. I'm lightening all the shadows. And you can do any variation of this. Isn't that amazing? Like, honestly, I'm so... When I discovered this, I was just like, wow, I have to use this all the time. And so that's one example. Um, and wasn't it so easy? <laughs> I think it's so easy. Anyway, so I'm going to hide this layer. Now let's go ahead and make it something red. Now, this works because it's a black orb and it has nice highlights. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go click on RGB and change it to red. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And would you look at that? It is now a bright red with beautiful highlights. Isn't that nice? I think that's so nice. Oh my gosh, I think I sound like Bob Ross right now. Just those beautiful little trees, that beautiful little orb. Anyway. So I'm, I'm going to hide that. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do another adjustment layer. I'm going to do the same thing with green. Now, as you can see, it's the exact same process. Just dragging both of these op uh, up and to the left. You got a beautiful green orb. And if I were to do this with blue, it would be the same thing. But... Let's say I want a color other than red, green, or blue. What if I want this to be yellow? Well, and this is the tricky part of learning this. You have to think in your mind, okay, what type, like what, what way can I affect this with red, green, and blue in order for it to be yellow? And I just happen to know from experience that red and green make yellow light anyway. So I'm gonna go to red. They do the exact same thing. As you can see, this is changing and it's turning yellow. Okay, that's honestly kind of a gross color, but anyway. And this is an entire world. This is how people change the color of things. This is how people uh, do how they color things. And so, I mean, let's even see what happens. What happens if I drag down on blue? Looks, oh! You wouldn't know this, but here, let me actually do a demonstration. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hide that curves. I'm gonna do this again. Now, what happens if I were to take the bottom of, or excuse me, the middle of blue and drag it down? I happen to know that it makes something yellow. Now, it's not changing it all the way yellow because they're honestly black, there's black involved. But, like, if I were to combine this with adjusting red, now as you can see, this is really cool. And there are infinite combinations for this, you guys. Um, you can, like, right now, as you can see, I have 
um, like red sort of shadow and mid-tones and then yellow highlights. Let's say I want to make that a bit stronger. I'm adding more red, but let's say I want to have more pronounced yellow in the highlights. I would take, you know, over here, this is the highlights, this is the shadows. I know that this is like kind of hard to understand at first, but once you practice this and know what you're doing, this is such a powerful tool. And I really hope that you will use this in your work. And isn't this cool? So let's go back through this. So basically I bumped up the green in the highlights, but it's, as you can see, I also bumped the highlights in red. And so red and green equal yellow. And, you know, because I dragged this up, the, uh, the shadows, which is this area over here on the left, are now, it's red. So, I mean, I'm just going to experiment right now and see if I can get an interesting color. Let's say I want, like, a teal, a teal color. Well, what makes teal? Well, I believe that it is green and blue. So let's see if I can get a nice kind of teal cyan color. So I've got the green, I've got the blue, and would you look at that? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Um, we've got a really nice evenly toned sort of teal shaded glossy orb. I think that is wonderful. And so, yeah, um, there are all sorts of different things you can do. Like, let's see what happens when I drag the red down. What's going to happen? Well, I happen to know that teal minus red just equals more teal. Well, actually, or it may, it may equal blue. I can't remember. But as what I what I implore you to do, if this is something that interests you, is to go and experiment with this. Spend like no joke, a couple hours just messing around with this. And you can combine this, you can do multiple curves. Like, let's say I can go back here. Let's say I want this to be uh, a fairly white orb, but also have teal characteristics. You can go like this. And would you look at that? It's bright, almost glowing. That is so luminous right now, almost iridescent. Man, I have, I have to use that on project. Um, but. Like, and by the way, you can also see on this graph where the different, there's the green, there's the blue, there's the red. Um, this is how people will color things. You know, there are also other ways using things like uh, color balance and human saturation and stuff, but that's stuff for another video. Anyway, just wanted to film this really quick video and introduce you to this world. I mean, maybe Google coloring with curves or something like that. Um, oh, and also the word Photoshop, because you may get some funky results if you do that. Anyway, just wanted to film this super quick tutorial and show you this awesome, awesome technique that you can totally use for absolutely anything. So, yeah, this has been Lumi, and uh, I hope that you learned something. I hope that this opens up an entire new world for you because you know that's honestly what it did for me and it was so exciting and so wonderful and uh essentially where where i use this most is actually combining photos with each other like let's say something has a lot of cyan in it well then i may adjust the curves of another photo that doesn't match at all and i'm trying to like mash them together so that they look natural well i would make those adjustments with curves and so that is such an awesome tool and you know if that didn't blow your mind let me show you that you can also do this with a levels adjustment it, although this is not as powerful it's the same sort of uh, technique, except that you have a little less control. So, you know, sometimes, like, I can't, I can't drag the bottom up, unfortunately. But, you know, sometimes you'll do a combination of levels and curves. Anyway, sorry. This video has gone on long enough, and uh, please, uh, you know, 
a few people sent me a few people have sent me things that they created with my last tutorials and it was blowing my mind i was just like wow that's so cool it's so inspiring to see what other people create especially when you like were able to participate in that some way and so i just want to encourage you guys like stick with this um i want to have lots of cool techniques like this and uh like i said this is just opening a door if you want if this is something you want to do for your career you have to push yourself you have to learn all the techniques um okay maybe not all of them maybe you can specialize in something but um, the point is this technique has so many different applications and um, once you understand how to use Photoshop, that is an incredibly powerful tool because then you are only limited by what you can imagine. And isn't that such an exciting concept? All right, this is Lumi. I'll uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. And thank you so much for subscribing. I was so surprised at how many of you guys joined on the very first day. It was so pleasing to me. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.